let's get started guys. First off, I've already primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion and now I'm placing a light brown shadow down on my lid and it is called One to Watch. Now I'm going to add deep dark in the crease area and blend it out some to merge with the One to Watch shadow. I'm now adding Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek onto my lid area. I saw Grisette had some kind of color on her lid but I can't really tell because the pictures I've seen weren't very clear but I know it was a neutral, it was a really really neutral eye. Now I'm going to use the Milani Felt Tip Liner, um, the angled liner. I've really been loving this liner lately. It's so easy to make the perfect wing lines, wing liners, anything with this. And it's just been making me really want to use liners again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to line my, my eye. And I'm going to see soon that it's going to, the line is going to be too small. So I'm going to go back over it to make it a little thicker. Now we're just going to sweep that um, Cocoa Bear color underneath the eye, just a light dusting of it just to give your eye a little contrast between um, what we're about to do next. So now I'm going to add LA Girl Gel Liner, I mean Glide Liner and Champagne to my waterline. It's going to just make my eyes look a little bit bigger than what they are. So take your orange concealer of your choice and put that around any dark areas on your face. My lip area tends to be darker than the rest of my face so I always, well when I'm doing like really nice looks I will always color correct my face. So take your favorite foundation and add that on. I'm using um, a beauty blender, well it's a fake beauty blender that I got from Amazon. It works really great for me. So now guys, we're going into the contour and highlighting. Um, I really went in a different direction with my contour and highlighting this time. Um, I watched a video, well I had watched it a couple months ago, but I never really tried to implement it. Um, actually doing a look with this new contouring and highlighting routine, but um, you'll see what I do. I'm just putting the con, the, I'm just highlighting my nose area right now. And now I'm just adding a darker color on the size of my nose. I'm going to bring that down. And then I'm going to go into, um, yeah, I'm blending it out now. So, yeah, blend it all out. Blend in the dark and the light. And now I'm just placing banana powder on top of it. I've let it set for a while on my face. Not intentionally, it just happened. It happened because I just stopped and paused for a while. So just keep adding your banana powder. Yeah, I'm making crazy faces. Um, add your banana powder. Add it to your heart's content. And then sweep off any excess that you may have. Now go back over your nose area and just add a slight line. Um, you don't have to add a lot because you already have the stuff that's going on underneath um, where you blend it in the light and the dark. So you just want to give a little contrast. And now I'm just adding um, Otherworldly on top of my nose to give my nose a little, little shine and glow. Now I'm contouring my cheeks with um, Richly Home Pro Sculpting Cream. And I just blended everything out and added some to my temples. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer on my lip and under the highlight well under the contour so it'll pop more and just blend everything out that's all you got to do now blend everything out so you don't have any harsh edges 
Now take Ebony from um, Magnolia Makeup and place that on your lips with a lip pencil. And once you have it placed on your lips, I'm going to take um, Typographic and add that on my lips to make it more of a matte finish. So now we're going to set our face with, um, I'm using deep dark powder, deep dark mineralized skin finish from MAC. Um, you can use whatever you want to use. That's generally what I use. I just like to finish. Place it on everywhere on your face, even on the highlighted parts. It's not going to really change it much. And if you didn't notice, I have lashes on. I put them on off camera. I kind of look special when I put lashes on, so I tend not to do that. Um, on camera one day I will get the courage to make a lash tutorial but there are many out there if you want to see how to do that and now I'm just adding more of the other otherworldly onto my face I'm just adding on my cheeks and to my forehead and you are done with this look Thanks for watching guys.